Today's headache inducing topic is you can only write a story about something you have had a personal experience with. Simply researching isn't good enough. What does that mean? An example I heard was only disabled people can write about being disabled. Are you serious? While it may be true that the disabled person does know firsthand the little daily things that one has to go through to deal with their disability, and most definitely has a very true picture of what it's like to be disabled, that doesn't mean that they can't get interviewed and tell other people about what they go through so that we might have an understanding of it. Then, if those writers take the interview, which is literally the disabled person's words, and put those words into their stories, I don't see anything wrong with that. The writer themselves does not have to be disabled to write down those words. The main thing that frustrates me about this topic is that it kills creativity and imagination. About half of our current entertainment today is fantasy or fictional universes, with characters that are completely made up living in places that are also completely made up. According to this logic of today's topic, you can only write a story about something you have had a personal experience with. None of those stories should have been written. That is insane. Let me break it down further. I know some of you are getting this already, but just bear with me. Is J.K. Rowling a 12-year-old wizard who attended a wizarding school for seven years? She's not. So according to this logic, she could never have written Harry Potter. Expelliarmus! <laughs> Is J.R.R. Tolkien a hobbit? Does he have the stature of an elf from Rivendell? Is he an orc? He's none of those things, so according to this logic, Lord of the Rings shouldn't exist either. Were Stan Lee or any of the Marvel comic book writers emboldened with any of the superpowers they wrote about and imagined? Nope. So according to this logic, Marvel, one of the greatest fictional universes, shouldn't exist. Now let's go into historical movies. This logic says first-hand personal experience is the criteria for being allowed to write a story. Gladiator shouldn't have ever been made, according to this logic, because literally no one who worked on that movie was alive during the Roman Empire. The Patriot should never have been made according to this logic because literally no one who worked on that movie was alive during the Revolutionary War of 1775. Hang him, put his body on display. Colonel, I beg you, by the rules of war. Would you like a lesson, sir, in the rules of war? Or perhaps your children will. This is why I can't accept this logic. These five movies and plenty more wouldn't exist if any of these authors of those stories listened to this ridiculous logic. I mentioned earlier that I think this is a ploy to kill creativity and imagination. It's often leftists who will say this line of nonsense because they are full of resentment and hatred for everything fun. Yet at the same time, a lot of these people probably really enjoy the fantasy movies, and they don't understand that this thing they believe would render their favorite things non-existent. Common sense, people. These are the groups who appear to crave stuffing everyone into their designated identity boxes, then demand we sit down and shut up. All that does is cut off communication and the sharing of ideas, which is exactly what they want. I suppose that's what tyrants do best. Those are all my thoughts for today, so thanks for watching. Please don't be stupid, and I'll see you on the next video.